um, looking at some figures, um, there will there's still a risk of supply side shocks. Um, but I think at the same time, it's come also with experience of being able to manage uh, those supply shocks. I'm a pretty Pan. Join me in the next half hour as we get their insight. <laughs> In the first three months of the year, Philippine economic growth pulled to its lowest in seven quarters, known thanks to red-hot inflation and high interest rates. Still, the 6.4% first quarter GDP growth is faster than Indonesia, China, and Vietnam, and better than the 6.1% estimate of economists. How's the second quarter shaping up? Joining us today for their insight on the Philippine economy oh. are Nicholas Mapa, Senior Economist at ING Bank, and Nisha Alisher, Chief Equity Strategist at DA Market Securities. So let's start with the GDP numbers. So for the first quarter, GDP grew by 6.4%. Um, and this was a positive surprise. But given the external headwinds, do you think that uh, we've seen the peak already for the year and you know growth is on the way down? Um, we're following consensus. We think that um, uh, um, it has peaked. Um, and uh, slowing momentum would probably be slowing. We still